Hello, and welcome to getting started with OpenEMR. First, let's go to your internet browser. Please click on that and uh, go to your address bar. In your address bar, please uh, input the domain name where your EMR program is located. Ours is quinn.com. Now, when you hit return, you'll get an authentication record which is required by the server. So if you input PATT and then uh, the password uh, and then click OK, it will bring you up to the open EMR uh, screen. Now, for the purposes of uh, using this program for the first time, the default username will be uh, admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password will be pass, P-A-S-S. I, however, have been in and already changed my, my username and password, so I will input those at this time. And, oops. And then the uh, OpenEMR default screen comes up. If you look left, you'll see a navigation pane, calendar. Uh, if you look here, you can see the calendar, the appointments, uh, some, some clinic information. Uh, you can look at a flow board, uh, some messages, um, some patient information. You can search patient data. You can add a patient. Um, you, can, you can look at visits. You can create a visit. You can look at the current visit, and you can look at a history of of previous visits. So you can look at uh, patient records, there's forms, you can import clinical data from another provider or from a hospital. Um, you can do billing, there are other modules. Um, various procedures uh, are available to you that uh, would be performed in a doctor's office. Certainly there's a, a block for administration where you as the administrator can go in and, and change things uh, with respect to access for people uh, providers, uh, information about your facility, etc. You can you can also generate reports. Um, now let's take a look at at the default screen. If uh, if you were going to use a desktop with a lot of uh, with a lot of surface area uh, for a screen, this may or may not be ideal for you. Um, if you look left here uh, where it says bot, if you if you click that, you'll notice that. Uh, the uh, the partition at the bottom of the screen goes away. Now I can just as quickly bring that back by putting back the check block. But if I were going to use a tablet, if I was a nurse um, or an MA and I was going into the patient's room and I needed to see more information, I certainly would switch back to this view which would then fill my tablet. Um, as I remove the bottom, so can I remove the top. So the point I'm trying to make is that you can play with the way the screen looks, right? And, you know, design it so that you're more comfortable with, with using it when you look at it. So back to miscellaneous. If we click on miscellaneous, what we find is you can do a bunch of things down here. Patient education, authorizations, there's an address book, a chart tracker, an order catalog. But, but let's move down here to password because I promised you that once we got inside, I'd show you how to change that. If you click on password, what happens is it'll put your username up here, and then you type in your current password, which would be P-A-S-S, -S, pass. Type in the new password, and then uh, confirm the new password by typing it in again. Then you would hit save, and your password would in fact be changed. Well, this entry-level video uh, of getting started in the Open EMR system has covered the navigation panes, it's covered changing your password, and it's, cha it's covered changing the uh, default look on the screen to make it more functional for you. The next video that we speak about will be adding a new patient to the database. Thank you for coming, and I hope the video has been informative.